ever wondered what certain words or terms mean in the Elder Scrolls Online? Maybe you saw something in Zone Chat that made me go, huh, what do they mean by NRG? What do they mean by LFG? Well, it's time to do Netflix and chill. In this video, we're going to go over all of the terminology, slang, abbreviations, and acronyms often used by many ESO players on every platform and server from console to PC. Timestamps and of course the link to the page itself will be provided to you in the video description and comments down below while you're listening or perhaps browsing through the list with me. Speaking of browsing, do you need or want to try out a new and better browser? Our sponsor, Opera GX has you covered. This browser is actually how I handle much of my workload as a content creator, but also just for leisure as another internet user these days. It's got pretty much everything, including integrated social media on the sidebar, such as Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and other mediums so you can argue with your relatives. Animated wallpapers are also included in this browser. It's a very simple click away and very easy to customize the other aspects of the browser as well. In addition, just like other browsers, it has browser extensions that are very, very handy, including seeing the dislike to like ratio on any YouTube video that you may want to watch. And that's not all with extensions. If you're coming in from different browsers like Chrome or Mozilla or Edge, you can actually do a very quick and easy import of not just your bookmarks, but also your saved passwords, your cookies, and your browsing history. Or maybe you don't want to. By the way, YouTube videos, you can pop them out of the browser if you are limited on monitor space. And unlike some browsers, it does emphasize performance, which you can customize as well through not just the GX control panel itself, where you can set the RAM and CPU limit, but also through the GX cleaner, which will let you clean out some unneeded junk unlike some other browsers. In addition to other free and incredible features like a free VPN, smart audio detection and more, it also has a mobile version with which you can actually link your phone to your computer remotely through the MyFlow feature so you can easily exchange information and data between two of your most used devices. You can download Opera GX for free now with my link down in the video description and the pinned comment below and try it out for yourself. Well, we'll start from the beginning with A. AFK, well, this is pretty straightforward. Away from keyboard usually means people are gonna be taking a break or taking care of a real life matter. Alt, an alternate character. One of many characters on a player's account that they don't consider to be the main character, quote unquote. Needs leveling, has less playtime, or is just referred to as the alternate character alt for short. Alk, or short for alchemy, which is a crafting profession and skill line in ESO. Arb, or Arbo, the Arboretum district in the Imperial City dis uh, DLC zone, which consists of both PvP and PvE elements. AA, not the people you call when you're on the road, but uh, Ethereum Archive, or <laughs> non Alcoholics Anonymous. Uh, it is a Craglorn Trial, meaning a 12-man raid in the zone of Craglorn. Arx, or AC. Arx Carinium, a 4-man dungeon in Shadowfen. AVA means Alliance for Alliance, and this is for PvP, with the three alliances for. AOE, Area of Effect, type of ability that affects all allies or enemies within a certain area rather than focusing on one target. Adds. This can be a little confusing because some people interchange it with uh, other terms, which we'll also go over, but basically hostile NPCs that are present during any engagement or are added to the fight during a boss fight in a PvE or player versus environment content. Aggro. Aggression. Hate. Threat level, as is, is, it is known in other MMOs, often used in the following pulling aggro, getting aggro, getting spousal aggro. This word refers to who is being targeted by a hostile NPC. Typically in group content, it's a tank's job to quote unquote hold aggro. AD, short for Aldmeri Dominion, one of the three alliances featured in ESO. AS, Asylum Sanctorium, a 12 man trial in Clockwork City. AP, 
Alliance Points, a currency one can gain by doing player versus player activities in Cyrodiil, Imperial City, and Battlegrounds. Hey, something American players say to signify enthusiasm or happiness. Anchor, or this is interchanged with Dolmens or the Molong Ball's Dark Anchor World Event in PvE over land zones. Ales, and this can mean Castle Elysia or Fort Alleswell, or Alleswell in Cyrodiil. Elysian. Uh, this can stand short for the Elysian Order item set. Achievements refers to the journal's list of achievements a player character can get. Achievements are not account wide in ESO. Alright, alright. Add ons PC exclusive modifications that can enhance many aspects of ESO from quality of life to combat um, things for many players. It is not on console. Arena. Either the Imperial City Arena District, or a four-man or solo arena in PvE. Now we're on with B. BRB or B right back. Means they'll be back. Back bar. Your secondary skill bar that you unlock after level 15. Or was it level 10? I forget which, but you know what I mean. Banner. Refers to Dragon Knight's Ardent Flame Ultimate Skill. Bait. Typically used to refer to a dungeon or trial run where things don't or won't go so well short of expectations, such as bait run. Oh, that was a bait raid. Sorry for the bait or pulling you into the bait run. Bio or bio break. Bathroom break. Just don't let us know if it's number one or two. B2P, otherwise known as buy to play as opposed to F2P, which is free to play, or S2P, subscribe to play. ESO is actually buy to play. It was once subscribe to play. BS. Well, this this can mean, you know, bullshit, but uh, it also stands short for blacksmithing, a crafting profession skill line in ESO, and can also represent for bar swap. Uh, BRK, Blue Road Keep, it's another, you know, one of the controllable fortifications in open world PvP and server though. Brindle or Brind stands for Castle Brindle. Again, it's a... Uh, just short for another location in serial PvP. It's often referred to as a meme or non-issue, particularly for EP players. Blood. This can refer to the item set Blood Spawn or the Castle Blood Main in Zero though. Bleakers or Bleaks refers to Bleakers Outpost, one of the minor fortifications factions can control in open world PvP. Banana. Slang used by Daggerfall, Covenant, and Evanart pack players to refer to AD players in PvP due to yellow being the primary color of the AD banners. Blueberries. And this is slang used by AD and EP players to refer to Daggerfall, Covenant players in PvP because their primary color is blue. Blues. And this is basically the same thing as blueberries. Build. A player's character, a player character setup which includes where they put attribute points, what enchantments they use, what jewelry or item sets they use, how they play it, their race, their passives, their class, what skills they use, and so forth. So when you ask somebody, hey, what's your build? That's, everything here is uh, implied or to be included. Um, not just item sets. Buff, an effect that strengthens a target, whether it's your characters, group mates, or a different target. BC can stand for Banner Cells or Blessed Crucible, both of which are dungeons located in Aridon and Eastmarsh, respectively. BF, well, that can stand for Boyfriend, or Bloodred Forge, a DLC dungeon located in Kragmorn. Ball Group, this is a very contentious term, but basically a very organized PvP group typically in voice communications together that balls up or ball up and move around together. BGs, Battlegrounds, a 4v4v4 team-based PvP activity. Separate from Sarah though, BH can stand for Blackheart Haven, it's another four-man dungeon. BIS or BIS, best in slot, often used to note that a particular setup, class, or elements of a build is mathematically superior to other choices for a wide range of scenarios. BOE, this can be a little confusing to some people as we'll touch on these two terms here. BOE stands for Bind and Equip. It basically means it's gear that drops from bosses, chests, or other places that can be shared with other players or sold to other players unless you equip it and then it's bound to you forever. BOL is Breath of Life, a more skill from the Templars restoring light skill line that heals people. BOP 
is related to BOE, except unlike BOE, once you pick up an item, it's automatically bound to you, thus bind on pickup. BRP, Black Rose Prison, a four-man arena located in Merkmire. It can also be used for the, the weapons that can drop there, like all oh, the BRP dual daggers or the BRP greatsword. BSW stands for Burning Spellweave, another item set that can be found elsewhere in the City of Ash dungeon uh, that was or is popular at the time of your reading or listening to me as in this video. Burn basically means just do as much damage as possible on the boss without regards to mechanics or safety. So maybe a Rayleigh will say, okay guys, just focus the boss, burn it, burn it down, or just burn. What are strats? What are mechanics? Burning, a status effect inflicted onto a target by Inferno Staves or other fire-based abilities and sources, and we have an article on the ESV website about burning and the other status effects. Bruh. Bro. What? Bystat, typically used in conjunction with food as in bystat food, that boosts health or magicka or health or stamina or stamina and magicka. Base pop, uh, so this is actually not a player term, but... It is a term preferred by Zenimax Online Studios developers of the game in referring to ads, mobs, trash, or any hostile NPC. They call it base pop or base population instead of trash or ads. Uh, kind of weird, but that's okay. It's there for a reason. Crow, uh, short for necromancer, the necromancer class. We're in C now. Castle, typically, uh, so the PP fortifications in Cyrodiil actually have a interesting um, kind of not prefix but uh, preceding word. So castle, if you see castle next to it, that's an AD home keep or home base or home fortification. Uh, you'll see other examples of this, such as keep castle. Um, I forget the third one. Uh, it, will, it will come to me in a bit. CC crowd control, a stun uh, could also mean snare or root. Uh, but that, that's, what, that's what players mean when you say, do you have any CC or etc. Not your credit card. Cherries, slang used by DC and AD players to refer to the Evanhart pack players in PvP due to red being the primary color of EP's banners. CBB, uh, not a lot of people use this, they just say uh, Black Boot, but it has been used before. Castle, Black Boot, boot A Fortification, Zero though. Um, so again, Castle, AD home base. CP, Champion Points. Cap. Uh, so this has multiple meanings. So cap me can mean capture, or ca I'm capping the flag, or I'm capping the keep, or I'm and or it can mean you're capping, you're lying. C S. Crown Store, the Elder Scrolls Online Cash Store, or E S O customer support. C E. Cheat Engine. Uh, this was a specific type of third-party software one could use back in the day to cheat. Uh, but nowadays, the term kind of satirical or just kind of denotes that someone is using something else that may not even be called cheat engine, but we just call it cheat engine. Chill. Well, <laughs> uh, besides the SAS effect inflicted on target by ice staves or other ice based abilities or sources, it's also used to calm a person down. Maybe. If they want to take a chill pill. Chal. Chalamo. Chom. Chom and keep often one of the more heated sites of large-scale PvP engagements in open world Sarah, though. There's a pretty funny story behind the name Chalamo. There's actually also a lore book that was put into the game that describes what happened at uh, Chalman Keep. Players call it the Chalamo, but the lore book still calls it Chalman Keep, and it actually describes a battle, um, a really, really large PvP battle that took place during beta at Chalman. Crowns. Crown store currency. Uh, basically, you pay real cash to get crown store currency. Crash. ESO client froze or stopped working, or maybe something else happened. Who knows? Cyrado or Ciro, short for, you know, Cyrado. Crags, short for the Craglorn 12 man trials. Craglorn, Crag, Craglorn zone. COA stands for City of Ash, a four man dungeon. COH stands for Crypt of Hearts, another dungeon. Crucible stands for Blessed Crucible, a four man dungeon. Choking, this is a pretty interesting one, refers to a player messing up in either PvP or PvE. It can also refer to players taking the three resources around the fortification in though. So a typical castle keep or fort, what have you, um, has three resources, each one. It has, a, it has a mine, it has a lumber mill, it has a farm. And 
some players use the term choking to refer to taking all those three resources around the keep to break the transitus link uh, to other keeps connected um, to it to prevent other players from porting there, or teleporting there. CMX, or Combat Metrics, it's a much used add-on developed by a player called Soliner. Um, it's only available on PC. Chapter. Uh, basically, ESO's word for expansion. It's basically a major expansion patch that brings the most content once a year in quarter two or the second quarter for ESO. Uh, examples of this is Morrowind Chapter, Somerset Chapter, Ellsworth Chapter, Greymore Chapter, and Blackwood Chapter. Now, the difference between Chapter and DLC for ESO is that DLC comes with the subscription. Chapters don't until they become the old chapter uh, next year, uh, as an example. Char. Um, a shortened version of character. COD. Not Call of Duty, but Cash on Delivery. This is used for mails in the game with item attachments that the receiver has to pay for to receive or take out the items from the mail so it goes into their inventory. COS or COS. Cradle of Shadows. It's a four man dungeon. CR. Um, Cloud Rest. A 12 man trial in Somerset. And of course, you can put letter N or V to denote that it's normal difficulty or veteran difficulty. So you have NCR, VCR, VAA, VRG, and that's where the term comes from. CWC, Clockwork City. Cracked. That's awesome. Cool. Class reps uh, or class representatives. It's a ZOS sponsored pro program that I also happen to be a part of that facilitates feedback between the player base and the combat devs. Carries. So this term is used to imply that a less experienced or undergeared player was carried through content. Uh, it has somewhat of a negative connotation to it because it means, oh, I carry you to victory or car carry you to the finish line. Or it can also refer to carry runs where PVE skins or even you know, uh, other content like titles or achievements are sold to buyers for in-game gold. And yes, this is not against terms of service. Console. This is used to refer, ex you know, kind of encompassing Xbox and PlayStation, PlayStation at the same time. Some Xbox players I've met, um, they've referred to Xbox as just console. They don't really mean sometimes uh, that, hey, and Xbox and PlayStation just mean Xbox. But you get it. Um, DB. So we're on D now. This is pretty fun. Dark Brotherhood. Dark Brotherhood DLC. Or you can also mean Dawnbringer. Oh, do you get DB in Kind's Ages? Or it can mean, hey, you should slot Dawnbreaker, or DB, on the front bar. Uh, so it can mean three different things, or four different things, depending on your perspective. DC, and this is, you know, short for Daggerfall Covenant, one of the PvP alliances, but it can also refer to Darkshade Caverns, a four-man dungeon edition. Uh, DSC is a, a longer kind of, like, you know, abbreviation for Darkshade Caverns, which can also be represented by DC, but people use this to sort of distinguish the differences. DD, so this is a, uh, a term more commonly used by PC European players and on, uh, surprisingly, console NA servers as well. Um, it basically stands for damage dealer, a term, you know, that's basically, that basically means DPS players or damage dealing players. You can also mean the Dermot or Destroyer title. In opposition to the term DD, uh, you know, DPS is also a term not just to denote damage per second or how much damage you're doing, but it's also used as the category or role of a player. So, are you a DPS? How many DPS are you looking for? I'm looking for 10 DPS. I'm looking for 2 DPS and 1 healer. So other, other servers or um, places that are primarily you, they use DD. Oh, uh, I'm a DD. What kind of DD are you? I'm a magic source or DD and so forth. Whereas, and they would say, I'm a magic sorcerer DPS. So, kind of a neat cultural difference there. Debuff. A weakening or debilitating effect applied on a target, whether it's from a skill, item set, or consumable. DK. This can stand short for Dragon Knight class, or even Dire Frost Keep, which is a dungeon. DM means direct message. Dom, or D-O-M, means Depths of Molotar. It's a four-man DLC dungeon. Dami. Uh, staying short for Dami House, the monster set. Dot or DOT, damage over time. It's a type of ability that damages a target over a specific duration. 
Dragon Star Arena is represented by the letters DSA, and again, you can do NDSA, VDSA, it's a four main arena in Craglorn. DW can mean don't worry, but most of the time, like 99% of the time, people are saying dual wield, which is a weapon skill line. Dub, or W, for win or victory. Um, dungeon, or dunk. Not poop, but just stands for dungeon. It's four man content that can come in two difficulties, like we mentioned normal or veteran. Um, uh, drops. So, items that drop from bosses or other sources. It can also refer to Twitch drops. Uh, if you watch streamers uh, in the ESO category, that can be enabled on ESO Twitch streams, or if you watch ESO stream team members like myself, we sometimes have drops enabled exclusively for us. And you can get something in the game if you connect your Twitch account to your ESO account or the ESO website. Drugs. <laughs> Don't do them. Uh, decon. Deconstruct. Uh, this basically means destroying an item at a crafting station to get rid of it while getting its components and also uh, some experience points towards that skill line. Uh, so, for example, if you deconstruct or decon a staff uh, at the woodworking station, you'll get you know wood and maybe a trait stone or a something from it while also getting XP towards your woodworking skill line. Dragon claw or declaw, drag, all means the same thing. Fort. Dragon Claw in Cyrano. Dragon can also mean you know dragging all those ads or dragging all that base pop over here or dragging the boss around. Um, that's self-explanatory. Drink, uh, a consumable that typically buffs your recovery stats. Not all drinks do this, but most of the drinks or drink buffs you can take in ESO um, will buff your recovery stats over your max stats. DMG can stand for just damage. Uh, DWG stands for Dead Waters Guile, an item set in the ESO. Delve means PvE instances in Overland content, which typically contains a boss and a Sky Shard. Uh, D-Tick. This is a little hard to explain, but basically a defensive tick grants extra AP after fighting off players at your faction's resources or fortifications in Cyrodiil. Uh, this can come late, this can come early, this will also depend or scale on how many players were involved or how many players are present when this ticks um, downstairs. This is an interesting term, but it's primarily used for the Zamaja and Navintas fights in Cloud Rest and Sunspire respectively. It can also be used for Base um, in Rock of Heart Mode when you enter through the portal. It basically refers to the groups that go down while a group stays up for both groups to fulfill the mechanics of the fight to avoid a group wipe. So it's mostly a kind of a PvE term. Um, Destro, referring to the Destruction Staff Ultimate Skill or Destruction Staff Weapons and Skill Line. So you can say, oh, I have a Destro ult ready. Instead of saying, I have a Destruction Staff Ultimate ready. <laughs> so as you can see, it's very useful. Uh, now we're in the E category. E-H. EA, it's in the game. Alright, so Elden Hollow, a four-man dungeon. EH stands for Elden Hollow. EOF, or Extinguisher, uh, stands for Extinguisher of Flames. It's a title you can get from doing all the hard mode fights in Veteran Sunspire, which is a 12-man raid. Errant, can stand for Knight Errant, which is an item set. EP, stands for Ebonheart Pact. EU, stands for European Server. Eng, or ENG, is Engine Guardian Monster Set, typically, or maybe someone's trying to say English. Uh, everyone with the one, that's everyone. Elven, Elven Gardens, uh, th these two terms refer to another Imperial City district um, in the Imperial City DLC zone. ERP, erotic roleplay. Basically, you... Yeah, you know what I mean. ESO, I've been saying it all this time, you should know what it is, hopefully. Elder Scrolls Online. Some interesting people pronounce it as ESO, <laughs> which... I, I disagree with, but you can, you know, you can say whatever you can say ESO or ESO, I just say ESO. E-peen or E-peen, E-peen, one's ego or pride. Emp, Emperor, or Cyrodiil PvP. Now we're in the F category, that was fast. F, just typing the letter F, rest in peace, Ripperino, goodbye. Press F to pay respects. FOTM, or flavor of the month. Typically used to describe classes or builds that many people hop on to gain an inherent advantage due to a balancing patch in PvP. This can also refer to PvE stuff like, oh wow, I just found, and like maybe someone finds out, oh, Magic Dragon Knight is really good this patch, and then everybody starts playing Magic Dragon Knight. That's the flavor of the month. Fort, and yeah, this is the third word I uh, 
forgot earlier, but we know that it refers typically to the DC home uh, fortifications. Fam, family. It's this is often used in social media by ESO content creators who refer to themselves as ESO fam. This can have many meanings. Um, and when when this term is used, FL Fanglayer, a DLC four man dungeon forums. Uh, when people say we're talking about the forums, they're primarily referring to the ESO's official forums, which can be interesting. Farming, and this means grinding or harvesting for gear or materials, respectively. FG, false god item set, or it can stand for a dungeon name, Fungal Grotto. It can also be used for Fighters Guild, so FG can mean a lot of things here. FH, Falkreath Hold, a four man dungeon. FV, Frost Vault, a DLC four man dungeon. Now, here, five star refers to like the Grand Overlord rank and title one can attain in PvP. So, when someone's looking at you, the default UI or even the add on UI, if you're whichever UI you're using, um, it will show like a five star icon next to your names as, a, as their PvP rank. And that's the highest rank you can get in uh, PvP. Uh, food, a consumable that typically buffs your attribute pulls, so you know, drinks, recovery. Food, typically attribute. Uh, if this is an easy way to remember. Farah, or Farragut, keep in Cyrodiil. FC, or forward camp. Uh, this is referring to a PvP equipment you can set down outside of the range of enemy keeps to spawn there instead of spawning at a different keep once you die. Uh, it, it has a cooldown for player as well. FPS, frame this for a second. Flame, you know, I'm flaming you. I'm flaming your mom to insult someone, right? Gank, we're in the G category. Gank. Uh, this is actually pretty interesting. Uh, I am a historian as well, and <laughs> I was surprised to see this, but originally it's actually American street slang, and typically, you know, if you want to gank somebody, you know, um, you're mugging them. Doesn't mean you're necessarily killing them, but in ESO, it means you're killing them by catching them off guard, whether it was an attack from stealth or from an unexpected angle. Oh, I got ganked. Man, that Nightblade ganked me. I'm going to gank this guy and one-shot him. That's what people mean by gank, not mugging them. Uh, GF, good fight. Uh, this can mean <laughs> girlfriend or something, but, uh, but when, when someone kills you in PvP and they whisper you, GF, um, it just means good fight. It's a common thing that's said uh, between, you know, people who duel in the game, the duelist, the 1v1, 1v1ers, one um, out of courtesy after the dueling finishes, no matter who wins or loses. Um, it can also mean girlfriend, as I mentioned, but it can also be used in sort of an insulting way, like let's say, you know, you're ganging up on one person in Imperial City with three other people, and that person kills all four of you. If they whisper you, GF or good fight, that's like saying you suck. <laughs> so again, pretty interesting term. Uh, GG, good game. Um, th th this can be used in both PvE and PvP. It's usually set after extended PvP fights between groups or after battlegrounds. Um, in PvE, it's like after a random normal or dungeon is done. Some people say GG, good game. Uh, gear. Your, par your player character's item sets in use does not mean build. Gear is part of a build, as we discussed earlier. Um, grinding. And we kind of covered this earlier as well. It's carrying out the same action, the same sequence of actions, such as doing a dungeon repeatedly until you get what you need, such as XP or item sets and so forth. Um, GS can refer to the God Slayer title and achievement from Veteran Sunspire. It can also refer to the guild stores, although, again, it's more commonly used for God Slayer. GZ, or Gratz, congratulations. Pretty straightforward. Geo, Grand Overlord, interchangeable with 5 star. Again, the highest uh, PvP rank you can attain. God Spawn. So some PvE encounters spawn in ads during the fight or during boss fight, such as, you know, Ethereum Archive Hardman. And they can end up in quite random, static locations very randomly. Uh, another good example is the Lacustes hard mode fight in Veteran Sunspire. And if the hostile NPCs spawn like really tight together or in design or in locations that you deem really good to speed up the fight or for you to potentially ignore them, that's what's called a god spawn. God roll. An item set, drop, or something that's exactly what the player wanted or is considered to be the best in slot, including trait and type. 
And here, uh, it looks like this is bugged, but GVG refers to guild versus guild in PvP. It can also mean group versus group. Uh, this is typically two different groups of players, uh, whether they're organized by guild or just by affiliation going at it against each other. Grothar or Groth, it's a monster set. GOML or Gamo, get on my level. Glass Cannon, it's a character spec out for very high damage output, but very vulnerable to any source of damage. Um, pretty common term across uh, many games. Gold or G, um, the primary currency of players in ESO to buy from NPCs, players or exchange crowns, Telvar, AP, and vouchers for. Um, gold Sink, this is an interesting one that I've covered previously in different videos on the channel. A uh, Gold Sink is an instance of transaction or activity that serves to balance the player economy and the primary currency of in-game gold. Um, not to hyperinflate. So gold sinks can include maybe things you, you want to spend your gold on, like housing, guild trader bins, maybe creation of a guild tavern, the 3.5% system tax on guild stores, and much more. Uh, as of this video, are there good gold sinks in ESO? No. And that's a huge part of the reason why the value of gold, at least on PC, um, has gone down, because there's much more gold. Now G2G, good to go or gotta go? GTG, good to go. So this is a, you know, G2G, uh, I, I have found, is typically used for, I gotta go. GTG, I have found, from a lot more players across different platforms and servers, they just mean, I'm good to go, let's go, I'm ready, queue us up. Guildies, fellow guild members. Um, goon. This is, this is a term that I've only encountered on Xbox. Um, I, I play on PC, I played on P, I play on PC primarily, but I, I've explored and kind of exchanged cultures with, um, like going to Xbox and PlayStation and playing a bit on, on the other platforms. And I've only encountered this <laughs> on Xbox <laughs> or from Xbox players or Xbox console transfers. Um, they just, it just means good player. Um, or uh, I don't know, like a really skilled person. Group, uh, this can be party of two, four, 12. I mean, it's a group. You know, can be a group by yourself. Now in the age category, Hodor. Uh, one of the most well-known PV raid guilds in ESO's history, for sure, they were also present at the 2014 Guild Summit with the devs, as a fun fact. Also used to refer to Holder Reflexes, it's an add-on developed by Andy S, and it's kind of an you know, inside joke um, within the raiding community, but uh, they don't really raid anymore, they're not an actual, oh, who knows, maybe as of the video they've reformed, but this was a while ago. But yes, it can refer to either the add-on or uh, the raid guild. Hotter, or H-O-T-R. Horns are reached DLC or patch, so ESO players like to also abbreviate or uh, abbreviate like, the names of patches. Or they, Most players don't keep up with patches in terms of, okay, this was update 1, this was update 30, this was update 29. They just remember it by name, so you'll find that quite a bit. H-O-T, or heals over time. Healing over time. Um, basically an ability that heals at least one target over a specific duration. HM, this is interesting. How much, or HM is this. People usually type that and it usually means how much is this. But it can also stand for a hard mode, which can be activated for most uh, PvE group instances, uh, from Dungeons to Trials. Uh, HP or health, pretty self-explanatory. If you run out of it, you die. Healer, you know, a player who primarily heals or mixes healing with DPS. It's a role name. Um, HA, this is either someone doing aha or usually means heavy attack or heavy armor. HOF or HOF, Halls of Fabrication, which is a 12-man raid or trial. And you, again, you can do NHOF or VHOF. Um, HRC. El Rasido, another Craglorn trial. Heavy, heavy attack. I die to a heavy, some players will say in PvP. Or a boss that heavy them. Horn, the Warhorn ultimate skill from the Assault skill line in the Alliance War skill line, or the Halra Horn pre warrior fight. So this can mean two different things. Uh, hybrid, this is an interesting concept in ESO for various reasons, but basically refers to mixing attribute points or items and bonuses to be a hybrid build between magic and stamina, or it can refer to hybridization of item sets where item sets now as of update uh, 31 or 32, uh, or 32, now have uh, both weapon and spell damage. 
uh, has critical chance instead of weapon critical or just spell critical. Uh, this is a more recent thing as of the uploading this video. Hate tells. Private and hateful messages from a player. <laughs> yeah, so when people say, I'm getting hate tells, it's just someone being really salty and just like spamming their like uh, chat box and uh, full of many other things. Um, I. So we're in the I category, category of I. I see. Just stands for short for Imperial City. Just let's go to I see. ICP, Imperial City Prison, it's a four man dungeon. IR, Immortal Redeemer title you can get from doing VAS hard mode in Clockwork City, and you have to know that hard mode it um, and speedrun it. You can also mean Ice Reach, which is a different instance, it's a dungeon, not a trial. I see you. Um, well, you can mean intensive care unit, but people say I see you as an I see you, or I understand you. Uh, Igneous refers to Igneous Shield or Igneous Weapons, both abilities that can be cast by Dragon Knights. I, alright. Uh, Inferno refers to one of the three types for the destruction staves. Indric, it's a type of creature, but also a rideable mount in ESO. In B4, so this is in B4, it's typically used on the ESO Reddit, or Reddits in general, um, or official forums to say, I'm here before X happens. Or in before a moderator locks his thread. J. JK, just kidding. Julie or Julianos stands for an item set in ESO. Joshing. Um, again, this is more of a console term or an Xbox term. Uh, it just means I'm just kidding. Just yanking your chain. Jesus Beam, Radiant Destruction. Uh, it's Templar ability from the Dawn's Rascaline. It's literally just a beam, of a very powerful beam. And people have called it Instead of Radiant Destruction, oh, he's casting ra Radiant Destruction, or he's using Radiant Destruction, you just call it Beam, or Jesus Beam. Janky. Uh, clumsy, awkward. Uh, JS. JS just means just saying. Jailbreaker is an item setting in ESO. Yorv. Jorv. Jorvold. Jorvold, however you want to pronounce it. It's an item setting in ESO as well. Junk. It's an interesting one. Uh, it's not just a term used to say it's trash, but it's also actually a loot category that's not valuable to sell to other players or worth keeping for yourself. Um, it's also, again, it's an inventory category, but it can mean a couple different things here. Alright, now we're in the category of K. This is usually to say, okay, or okay, K, alright, I got you. Or it can denote 1,000, number 1,000, like 1K equals 1,000, 200K equals 200,000. EU players do this weird thing where they do like... 1,000 KK, which is like, you know, you just times it by 1,000. Uh, instead of just saying, you know, I don't know, 100,000 or something, or 100K. Uh, Kya or Kyanars, Kyanars monster set, KA, it's a, it just means Kynes Aegis, or Aegis. Um, 12 man trial in ESO, it's a raid Khajiit, playable raids. Kings, refers to King's Crest, keep in Cyrodiil. Keys. This refers to both key fragments from the Imperial City DLC zone you can get from killing mobs, or the undaunted keys you can attain from doing undaunted pledges. Keeps, and this is typically re referring to an EP home fortification. So EP is keep, um, DC is fort, and AD is castle. Alright, we're in the L category. L, if you just type L, loser, take the loss, big L. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> you know, if someone is opposite to a W or dub, it's not a win, it's a loss. Uh, again, most, mostly a console term. LA, uh, or just light attack, or light armor, like HA, heavy attack, heavy armor. L LAS, just light attacks. L2P, learn to play. Lag. Uh, this can mean a lot of things for a lot of players, but most people usually mean ping issues. But some people, when their FPS goes down, they also say lag, and so saying my FPS goes down uh, for a short of a, for lack of a better term, I suppose. LF, looking for, you add a G, looking for group. And then you can do something like LF space, uh, tank, I'm looking for tank, looking for group. Uh, LFC is looking for forward camp in Zero Zone chat. LF space DPS or DD, looking for Damage dealers or DPS players. Looking for tank, looking for healer. LFM is looking for more. This generally means they don't really care what you come on. 
Locke, Locke, uh, short for Lockestes, refers to not just the Ice Dragon boss in Sunspire, but also the Tooth of Lockestes item set. LOM, L-O-M, stands for Lair Marslock, the worst dungeon in ESO. Line of Sight, or LOS, putting yourself behind an object or a physical barrier in-game to stack or lure hostile NPCs or to prevent enemy players from seeing or attacking you constantly. So when someone says, I'm going to line of sight, that's what they mean, or, I'm gonna, or he's lossing me. Uh, locked. This refers typically to the faction-only PvP campaign as of the making of this video that locks your characters of a specific faction in and the other characters you may have of different factions out of that campaign specifically. Um, leash, the next word, it can mean to pull with silver leash or another pull ability. You can also refer to the maximum rage in overland or instance hostile NPC will follow you before losing aggro and resetting to their previous spawn location. Lore, story, backstory, or quest content. And we're in the M category. M-A, this can mean a whole bunch of things. Mouser Marina, which is a solo arena. Medium Armor, which is a type of armor. Master Architect, which is an item set, and Mechanical Cuity, which is also a different item set, so gotta be careful here. Mag, or it stands for Magica, uh, which is a resource pool. Main, typically refers to a player's main character or main role, like I main tanking, or this is my main character. Um, Medusa, it's an item set in ESO, not the mythological Greek figure. Maw. This can refer to Mauv Lorcanj or MOL or the monster set Mauv Inferno. MOL or Mauv Lorcanj is also a 12 man trial. Magden, Magical Warden. <laughs> so, this, this is a pretty cool thing. So, players in ESO they tend to attach Mag or Stam to the front of a class. So, Magden means Magical Warden, Magblade means Magical Nightblade. Mag Sorc means Magic Sorcerer, Mag DK, Mag Crow, Magplar, and so forth. Meteor. Uh, this refers to Mage's Guild Ultimate Skills, or, or the Ultimate Skill, or a mechanic in various PV instances. There's, a lot, there's actually quite a few mechanics uh, that involve Meteors, now that I think about it. Magma. This refers to uh, the Dragon Knight's Earth and Heart Ultimate Skill, or even the Magma Incarnate set that drops from um, the that Dread Cellar. Dungeon. MD or Moon can mean Moon Dancer, which is uh, another item set. Meta, uh, perhaps the most controversial term, very widely misunderstood by most of the ESO community. Uh, from other games, it can mean <clears throat> most efficient tactic available, or according to some, it can mean it doesn't even mean that. It it just means um, to be out of or some something to do with the word actual word uh, Meta. Um, but anyway, MF, Moongrave Fane, can also mean motherfucker. <laughs> um, Moongrave Fane is a DLC 4-man dungeon. MOL, we just covered this, it's a DLC 12-man uh, raid. MHK stands for Moon Hunter Keep, also a dungeon. Mending, it prim primarily refers to the mending item set itself. Um, MK, Martial Knowledge item set. MOS, March of Sacrifices, a DLC 4-man dungeon in ESO. Mansplaining. This is a pretty funny story. Uh, I, what Outcast did to Gina in Las Vegas. So Outcast is a content creator. Gina is uh, the, one of the community managers for ESO. And there was this global reveal event that they held or hosted in Las Vegas. Uh, and Outcast was trying to explain to Gina how the how the headset that wasn't working worked. <laughs> of course, that's a joke. She said, "Stop mansplaining." That's the reference here. Um, music box. Crown store or in-game furnishing that produces melodies and other musical theme songs. Uh, yeah, you can get these from the Crown store. Uh, Marsalock, boss in Lair Marsalock, but it also refers to the Marsalock monster set itself. Map, it's an in-game map you can open up while playing the game. Mob or mobs refers to a group of hostile NPCs like ads, base pop, trash. MG can mean mages guild, not machine gun. Merchant side refers to the side of the fortification or outpost in Cyrodiil where the NPC merchant is located. This is used by organized groups to call out where to go. So in PvP, you'll have various landmarks or uh, a need for your PvP raid leader or group leader to call out, we need to go here, but they're, 
there isn't much time or people need to understand exactly where they need to go um, while stacking on this person. So they'll say, okay, we'll go non-merchant side of this outpost or we'll go merchant side or we'll go around D, which is a uh, layout of the outpost uh, up top on the second floor. So there's a lot of meaning uh, that can be derived from callouts, but merchant side is one of those callouts. Main bar, your primary skill bar, your front bar. Um, noob, noob, nub, newbie, newer, or an experienced player. N, so again, you can attach this to NMA or NDSA, as I keep, kept explaining, it just means normal. NPC means non-player character, and it is a North American server. NB stands for Nightblade or Nightblade class. Necro, and just like Crow, you can also add Necro. Necro makes a class, or it can also mean the Necropotent's item set, or the act of raising a dead threat or discussion on the forums. Uh, like I necro this threat. And it may can stand for the new moon acolyte item set. Nuke, it's basically burn. Just do as much damage as possible without any regard to mechanics or whatever. Um, Non-meta. So again, uh, the typically opposite of the concept of meta, but it's also used to proudly signify by a person that the builds or players just don't care about optimal sets and emphasize having fun. Oh, there's problems with that. Um, <laughs> logically, but yeah, it's a, it's basically you'll see, you'll, you'll see a lot of this in the ESO give me like oh I run a non-meta setup or I'm a I'm a non-meta builder or theory crafter. No cap, not lying, no lie. Non-merchant side refers to the side of the I mean, we just kind of covered up with the merchant side, but non-merchant side, merchant side, the uh, upstairs, second floor, third floor, etc. Uh, OP, we're in the O category now. Overpowered, oh. Sork is OP. People said forever since 2014. Uh, orb, an undaunted skill that restores resources upon being synergized by a player. I need an orb. Olo, or Olorime, or Olorima, uh, as pronounced by Zamaja. It's an item set from Cloudrest in So it can also refer to the NPC herself, which the item set is named after, but most people mean the item set. Oathack, this is the add on predecessor to Cold Reflexes, named after O to Harambe which was a previous name of the former PB radio that mechanically challenged. Um, Overload refers to either the Sorcerer's Storm Calling ultimate skill or the Cloud Rest Bar Salt mechanic. Um, one-hander, one-handed weapon, one tam, one tam mule patch. So again, just like you know, most players don't say update 16, they just say stuff like, oh, that was a one tam patch or one tam mule patch. O-tick, the opposite of a D-tick. Uh, it's an offensive tick for gaining extra, extra alliance points after fighting players while capturing and then or after capturing or during the capture of a resource or a serial fortification. Oils. Flaming oil or oil catapult PvP equipment that you can use against players to defend. Overpen. Uh, this just means you're over the optimal amount or the over the cap of the physical or spell penetration needed on a target dummy or a hostile NPC. Offhand, this means your secondary weapon slot. So let's say you're holding two daggers, uh, you're, you have a main hand and an offhand. It is pretty important for uh, certain things like Nernhound. You want a Nernhound uh, weapon on the main hand because that's where you get the most benefit out of the damage. And you want a non Nernhound weapon on the offhand because Nernhound won't matter there. So P, Poddle, uh, Power of the Light, a morphed skill from the Templar's Dawn's Wrath skill lane. Um, people just say Poddle, not Power of the Light. Pots, or Pot, Potion, Potions. Poisons, this is just equipable consumables that can buff or debuff uh, targets. Proc, it's just kind of stands short for Programmed Random Occurrence. Uh, it can mean Activate, like most players mean Proc as an Activate, like Elk. Oh, can I proc this? Or will this item set proc that? Or will this skill proc the item set? It's mostly used to refer to proc sets where item sets need to have a condition fulfilled in order to proc their bonus ability. Uh, power Fantasy. This was a term initially used by uh, Zenimax Online Studios developers in referring to the identity or the feel of the playable classes or combat aspects in the Elder Scrolls Online. Players have picked up on this term quite a bit when discussing class balance changes or desires to see a class buffed or nerfed. Uh, PVE, player versus environment, PVP, player versus player, PVD, <laughs> it's a, 
uh, interesting term, player versus door. It's used to imply PvPers or people who aren't really PvPers, according to the people who use this term, who simply siege the walls and doors of fortifications without engaging in actual fights. So it's used as an insult, like, oh, you're a PV, you're a PV door. Like, you're, you're just PV dooring, you're not PvPing. Pug, P-U-G, standing short for pickup group. Um, which is funny because a lot of people say pug groups, which is like ATM machine, like, you know, <laughs> the, M in mach the M in ATM is machine, but you say ATM machine, machine, machine. Uh, PUG, you know, pickup group group. But yeah, anyway, moving on. Random groups that may or may not go well. Uh, it's sometimes used to refer to groups that aren't organized by guild, but you can still have an experienced pug, if that makes sense. PST. Please send telps. <laughs> People say this so you know to whisper them or directly message them in private in response to advertisement you may be responding to in their in zone chat. It can also mean Pacific Standard Time um, in other areas. PK, player killer, paids. This is an Xbox term again that pops a lot, uh, has popped up a bit. It refers to carry runs where a run for a PvE skin, achievement, or title is sold to a buyer. So instead of PC players saying, oh, are you going to go to the carry run, or am I, I'm selling carries, or I'm buying carries, Some ex a lot of Xbox players will actually say, I, I, I want to get paid. I'm going to go on this. I'm going to get this paid. <laughs> so let's go to the paid. Let's get some paids done. All right, so Poop Fist. It's often used by players to refer to as Dragon Knight Stone Giant ability. Uh... Provisioning, crafting skill line for cooking food and brewing drinks. Purple or perp. Um, so this, this this has two different meanings actually. The, there's an Xbox term. Uh, people don't people on PC call uh, the skin you can get from completing veteran cloud or hard mode just the VCR skin or the Zamaja skin or something or the Shadow skin. Xbox players call it purple. They just call it the purple skin. Um, and also purple can mean like uh, you know blue. Uh, DC and EP are teaming up in PvP and ganging up on AD. So blue and red mixing together purple, team purple. Primary hand, your primary weapon slot. We discussed this with the offhand. PM means private message. Now we're in Q. We're almost done here, guys. So QQ. It's you're QQing, you're whining, you're drawing a tantrum. Q. Activity finder Q or Battlegrounds Q or PvP Q, P campaign Q. You gotta wait in the Q. Quick Serpent, it's an item set in the ESO. Queen, well, it's used primarily to refer to Queen Iren of AD, or someone's favorite woman. R, we're in the R category, R and G, Random Number Generator. Uh, refers to the game system and algorithms in determining random things, such as spawns, loot drops, PV, fight mechanics, and so forth. Uh, oh, you died to RNG. Oh, I'm praying to RNGesus. My RNG is horrible. Examples of that. R.O. can stand for Roaring Opportunist. It's an item set from Kynes Aegis. Um, Rom, or R.O.M., Ruins of Mazatun. It's also a, a dungeon. Random. This can mean a stranger, or also a random normal dungeon, which is a daily activity in which you can get bonus XP and transmit stones. Res, or Revive. I'm resing over here. I'm resing this player. We need a res. The healer needs a res. The tank needs a res. Um, this basically means resurrecting that player, or you yourself resing uh, at a way shrine after dying. RP, roleplay or role playing. A it's a, it's a pop. It was or it is, depending on your perspective, a popular pastime in ESO. Unfortunately, the term role player has been used in the past and still kind of is to insult players. Um, basically, like if you're doing horrible, what are you, like a role player? Or like, you don't know what you're talking about, oh, you must be a role player. So that's a, some some clear examples of that. Roll, roll dodge, or a gear drop, or can refer to like rolling or creating a new character. Row, stands short for row back in Cyrodiil, or it can mean perfect row, a provisioning material, or fish row, which is a fishing bait. So lots of different rows here. Ready check. An in-game function that basically lets you um, ask players if they're ready and they can say yes or no. Or wait the timer out. Respawn. Reviving at a different location for a player in PvP or to a way shrine. Reset. Uh, resetting the fight or instance completely. This is typically used for 
maybe things aren't going so well, so you ask everyone to reset the fight or like just die so you can reset the fight. Or maybe you're pushing for a no death run and someone dies and now you gotta leave the instance, reset the instance and I'll come back in. Reload UI, it's actually a chat command to refresh your user interface. Um, it's also like used a lot by players saying, oh, just get rid of it by reloading UI. Raid, another word for 12 main trials or for large PvP groups. Now we're in the S, ca S category. SC or Spindle can stand for a Spindle Clutch. It's another dungeon. Selene, it's a very hard hitting boss. Uh, <laughs> SO, not a shout out or significant other. I mean, it could mean two of those things, but it primarily means Sanctum Ophidia, which is also a one of the three Kraglern trials or raids. SW, Selene's Web or Southwest. Sedge, so Genesis Outpost, a fortification in Cyrodo. Squishy, just like Glass Cannon, just a character that's very prone to any incoming damage. Or maybe they're just not Glass Cannon, they're just squishy. Uh, sewers, this refers to the uh, undermap of Imperial City Districts. The Imperial City Sewers, which is also a PvP slash PvE zone. Uh, skipping, this is, this is a term usually used for avoiding or completely avoiding a mechanic. Uh, or other mechanics of PV encounters through high DPS. Uh, they can also mean, oh, let's skip this trash pack here. Let's skip the monsters over here and just just get to the next boss. It can mean two different things in that regard, but usually it means like you just kind of burn this boss so fast you can skip a mechanic. Spawn can refer to hostile NPCs that continuously spawn in overland content, or the spawning of hostile NPCs during a PVE encounter. And here we got the fun Stam uh, prefixes here. We got Stamden, Stam the Warden, Stam Sork, Stam DK, Stam Blade, Stam Plar, Stam Crow, S and B or S and B, uh, Sword and Board. Uh, even though the proper uh, term is One Hand and Shield, most people just kind of refer to that skill line and the skills from it as Sword and Board skills or Sword and Board. Uh, even if you were maybe equipping a mace or a dagger <laughs> or an axe instead of a sword with your shield, people will just still call it sword and board. Uh, Sork, just being sorcerer. SPC, stands for a spell part cure and item setting in ESO. SCP, not SPC. Um, SCP does not stand for um, the, you know, the, <laughs> the SCP uh, stories or the universe of SCP, Secure Containment Protocol. Uh, scale Caller Peak, it just means Scale Caller Peak. It's a DLC dungeon. S-O-T-H, or SOT. Uh, Shadows of the Hiss DLC patch. S-S, not that S-S, but Sunspire. There was actually a bit of a debate about like referring to Sunspire as you know S-S, or like Vet Sunspire as V-S-S, because of, you know, the Schorstaffel. <laughs> But I think people were like, whatever about it. Um, from what I recall, people were like trying to do, trying to just say, trying to just say sun, like be sun or n sun. Uh, but it didn't quite catch on, so people are still calling you know, VSS right now. It doesn't really matter. But it can also refer to a screenshot, like, oh, I took a SS. Stam. Uh, stamina. Spell Scar. A well known grind spot in Crowner for XP gain. So when people say, oh, can you grind me in Spell Scar? Can you want to go with me to Spell Scar? That's what they mean. Skyreach, this usually refers to Skyreach Catacombs. Uh, it's another well-known, but instance grind spot in Kraglorn for XP gain. Uh, so for example, you might see in Zone Chat and Kraglorn in Zone Chat especially. Does anyone want to buy or sell me a Skyreach carry? So basically they might be on a low level character and they just want the XP. So they want someone else to basically help them grind. Standard. Uh, usually refers to the Dragon Knight Ultimate skill from the Art and Flame skill line. Scales off of. Uh, so a lot of content creators or a lot of people will say, this scales off of X, or this scales off of your crit, this scales off of your max stam. Uh, so basically it means when item set strengths or st other stats are based off of certain stats or percentage modifiers. A uh, good example is proxits don't... Well, this is, an old, this is an old statement because it's not true anymore. But yeah... Uh, you know what I mean. Skin refers to equipable skins on your character, cosmetic skins, that are usually granted from the PvE achievements or the in-game crown store. Silver Surfer. This is also 
this is an interesting term because it refers to this Asylum Sectorium Hard Mode skin. This is a PC term more so than a console term. Console, they just call it the Silver Skin from VAS Hard Mode. Clear. Uh, on PC, a lot of people in the past called it Silver Surfer or just the VAS skin. So either one. I don't think many people say this anymore though. Soft. Uh, <laughs> this this was this is this has been used more by Xbox uh, players than any other demographic I've uh, personally encountered. But it just basically means you're too sensitive. Um, right. So anyway, T Temple Temple District Imperial City. Uh, Ti or Tempest Tempest Island, a four main dungeon in ESO. TG Thieves Guild. Troll, someone who intentionally wants to upset people, or you know, the act of messing around with people, like, oh, you're trolling me right now. Oh, he's such a troll. Or it could mean the actual troll NPC in the game um, that can attack you. Tick, the frequency or rate of which damage or healing occurs at on the player. So some people will say, oh, you know, that's a thousand per tick, or that's 500 a tick. So 500 per second or 1,000 per second. Uh, it can also refer to a, a alliance point O or D ticks. Even though they don't tick every second, they just kind of tick at once instantaneously, giving a large lump sum. So that's a little confusing for some people. Tank, uh, pretty self-explanatory. Trash, trash mobs, like base pop mobs and ads. TBS, it's an old item seven in ESO, twice point star. Temp. Temporary or the Templar class. Tempers or Temps. When people say Tempers or Temps, they usually mean tempering alloys, but also usually mean gold gear and uh, upgrade materials in general. So when, for example, for clothing, your gold material uh, for upgrading a uh, piece of clo clothing uh, is Drowax. But some people still say, can you sell me those Temps or Tempers? when they mean sell me wax, but that's again interchangeable. TFS, Twice Fang Serpents, and items something you assume. TY, thank you. TYFG, thank you for a group. Usually said at the end of um, dungeons or something. The bag. Again, just <laughs> another Xbox term for getting paid. Um, success. Yeah, the, the D. So, I talked about this earlier, when we were brought up non-merchant and merchant side. So, the area of the second floor is of outpost that forms a D shape. So, if you ever go to Cyrodiil and you go to Sejanus outpost or Bleak, Bleakers or uh, Nickel outpost, and you go up to the second floor of the outpost, uh, overlooking the, the front gate of the outpost, you'll notice that it kind of forms a D shape. And this is used by organized players to call out where to go. Like, oh, let's go around the D, or let's go straight across the grill of the D. Stuff like that. So tell, cover this with hate tell, but private message. Um, Two-hander, two-handed weapon. Tickets, it's a, one of the currencies you can gain from doing in-game events. Traders, guild traders, guild stores, guild trader spots. Uh, it's a very unique ESO take on uh, global auction house or auction houses. Teabag, I mean, who doesn't? Uh, hopefully you guys <laughs> know what teabag is. You, uh, ultimate, uh, or alt, means ultimate or ultimate points like I need ult like I need ultimate points or can you ult can you cast your ultimate so this can be used very effectively in communications with your team members undaunted undaunted passives pledges or skill classification it can mean skill line it can mean the undaunted pledges or it can mean the passives in the skill line uh, or the guild itself UG stands for unhallowed grave upstairs primarily used during these Imaja or Navi Toss fights and Cloudrest or Sun Spire to refer to the groups staying up to carry out the fight while downstairs group, you know, basically goes down to fulfill their own mechanic. UI, so user interface or undaunted infiltrator, it's an item set in ESO. Uh, user interface is just UI. Uh, t that's what most people mean with UI. Underpen, underpen is like the opposite of overpen. You're under the optimal amount of physical or spell pen penetration on a target dummy or hostile NPC. Uh, v, uh, we got just the letter V, which you can slap onto other things like VMA, uh, VFL, VRG, VSS, VAA, v VHRC, VSO, and it just means veteran, uh, veteran instance or veteran dungeon, veteran trial. Uh, VET is also something you can do, like VET MA or VET SS, uh, so veteran. VAMP, VAMP, 
can be short for a vampire, which is a skill line as well. Uh, VF, or Volen, stands for Volenfell, which is a dungeon in ESO. VO stands for Vicious Ophidian, which is also an item set. VOM, or Vaults, VOM, Vaults of Madness, another dungeon in ESO. Vatishran, or Vate, uh, is used for the weapons that come from the Vatishran's Vatishran Hollow's solar arena, or it's just referred to the solar arena itself, like uh, V Vatishran, or V Vat, or VVH. Um, VR, this is a very, <laughs> this was a long time ago, but Veteran Ranks, it's the now gone system of levels for end game progression ESO. It was replaced by the champion point system completely, but if you ever see someone talk about VR, uh, they're very, they've been playing this game for a while, or they're may, they might be talking about virtual reality or something, who knows. Vendor, NPC merchant, It's whether it's the golden vendor, or otherwise, or it can also mean action, like, oh, I vendor that. You just sold it to NPC, you don't care. Vendor trash. Um, a lot of people will say this. So items that aren't worth selling to other players or they you know, they just keep using. Um, it's sold to NPC merchants typically because you don't want to use it, you don't want to keep it, and it's like probably no one's going to buy it. So that's vendor trash. Vouchers. It's one of the listed currencies you can get from doing master writs that you can use to buy other things from a voucher vendor or voucher merchant. W. WB. Uh, world boss. It just means world bosses in PvE overland. Uh, WS or Wayrest, Wayrest Sewers, can also refer to the Stormhaven capital of Wayrest itself. Wayrest Sewers is actually a dungeon. WGT means White Gold Tower. WTB, uh, this is pretty interesting, want to buy, like, WTB five uh, apples. Uh, when people are advertising WTV in Zone Chat or something, or Discord, they they just want to buy something, or willing to buy something. WTS is, of course, I want to sell, or I'm willing to sell. WTT is like, I want to trade this for an equal value of it. So maybe they're missing a motif, but they have a motif of the same style that someone else needs, and that other person needs the motif, or has the motif that they need. So do you want to WTT this? Um, WW usually means werewolf. WYM, what do you mean? What do you mean? WBU, what about you? Woodworking, crafting skill line and profession in ESO. Wipe, everyone dies in your group. You, you wipe the group or the group wiped. Um, X, so we're in the category of X. XP, experience points, ex experience, and self-explanatory. The letter X is pretty interesting. <laughs> As we'll talk about here pretty soon. So, a lot of uh, most uh, North American players I've seen on PlayStation, Xbox, and PC, we use the letter X on our keyboard or interface to sign up for groups or to get invited. So, let's say uh, there's a raid leader or some, a group leader saying, I need more people. People will just type X into chat. And so they can just click on that name and invite them or... Uh, select that name and invite them rather than you know painstakingly putting in people's uh, account names or character names uh, to invite them so when when people are saying i'm mixing up or uh, x dps or tank x or healer xing up or x healer that that means they just want to get invited on that you know specific role or for that specific activity xv1 so this is a very popular kind of genre of pp entertainment or content creation it's just many player <laughs> sorry i got what's well the opposite of it rather one vx would be the opposite but uh many players xv1 just means you're zerging or like ganging up one player one vx means you know you're killing multiple players by yourself why why <laughs> uh zerg a mass movement of many players or a massive group of players in PvP. It's a StarCraft origin. I used to play StarCraft quite a bit, almost religiously. Um, and Zergling, as you know, as an extension, it's typically an insult within the endgame PvP community. Uh, reserved for people perceived to be XV1ing or just ganging up on one person all the time. Uh, so Zerg, Zergling, and then we have Zoss, Zenny, which are the developers or ZeniMax Online Studios. Most most players say Zoss. Um, or I got Zoss, or Zoss needs to listen to us or something. And of course, the non-letters, these are pretty interesting. Plus, the plus sign. So I, I, I think this has to do with the keyboard layout as well, or how the keyboards are so different from country to country or region to region, uh, depending on which part of the world you're on, you're in. 
But EU players, especially on PC EU, use this character use use the plus sign to X up. So it's like the opposite of X on NA servers. So they plus up for groups so they can get invited. It's like, oh, I'm looking for you know two DPS or two DDs in this case, and then someone will say plus DD. They want to get invited as a damage dealer. One VX, we kind of mentioned this earlier. One player PvP against multiple players by themselves. It's con sometimes considered, or usually considered, like one of the apexes of PvP skill. One H just means one handed weapon or one hander. Two H, two handed weapon, two hander. Slash W, uh, whisper. It's a whisper command. Slash G1, slash D2 in the chat. Box, you just kind of enabling the type in your designated guild chat, so guild one, guild two, guild three, etc. And lastly, slash emote, which is enabled to type in emote chat, which is reserved for roleplay. Well, that's pretty much it, guys. That was a long one. Have I missed anything? Let me know down in the comments below. I'm sure uh, since I wrote all this up with the help of many other people, basically last year, we probably are missing maybe a few more terms that have come with new content. But outside of that, I think. Uh, we're pretty much set. But yeah, let me know down in the comments below if you uh, if you have anything more to add to this list. And I'll probably end it. Thanks so much for listening in and watching. Appreciate you guys. Stay safe, have fun, and see you guys next time.